Hello, I'm Dr. Miles Hassel, General Internal Medicine Physician at, at St. Vincent Hospital in Portland, Oregon. And I think a very positive response to the coronavirus uh, issue is appropriate. And that is because most cases of severe infection, in other words, those people that are really um, uh, have life-threatening or hospitalization level disease, um, have a number of risk factors that we can mostly avoid. And so the majority of those people that get serious infection, as against milder flu-like symptoms, the most people who get serious infection have hypertension or are significantly overweight or type 2 diabetes or uh, chronic kidney disease or heart disease. When we look at those factors, that means that the majority of these people have insulin resistance because insulin resistance is the dominant driving force behind those processes those illnesses. And so when we ask ourselves what insulin insulin resistance, insulin resistance is this complex hormonal dysregulation related to a number of factors that we sometimes um, um, uh, uh, um, bunch together as the metabolic syndrome. So the metabolic syndrome if it tells you whether you have or are likely to have insulin resistance and that involves a waistline that's larger than it should be hypertension or treated hypertension, blood sugar of more than 100 or treatment for high blood sugar. Uh, so for example, patients with prediabetes um, uh, have, have insulin resistance. And low HDL cholesterol, high triglycerides. So any combination of those things, the more variables you have within that. So if you have two or more of those factors, waistline, blood sugar, blood pressure, HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, if you have more of those that are abnormal, uh, then there's more higher probability that you have insulin resistance. So what do you do about it? Well, the interesting thing about insulin resistance is we can r demonstrate that people can reverse the process to some degree within days or weeks. And we have a book, uh, Good Food, Great Medicine, now in its fourth edition, that describes uh, the processes that allow you to do that, but they basically involve things that your grandmother would tell you. Get exercise once or twice a day, avoid uh, sweets and refined carbohydrates and that includes things like ready-to-eat breakfast cereals, um, um, foods made with white flour, white uh, rice and things like that. Um, weight loss when appropriate uh, and the most effective diet for the for insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes has so far has been shown to be the Mediterranean diet which is an omnivorous diet, lots of fruit and vegetables, beans, true whole grains, um, animal proteins like dairy, meat, fish, so all those foods that people have historically eaten, but primarily stick to them in a whole food form, the kind of things you would make at home rather than, uh, uh, than foods out. And when you combine these factors, good food quality, appropriate food quantity for weight loss if, if appropriate, and daily exercise, we think that we see everybody who does those three things successfully reversing their insulin resistance. If you do that, we believe the evidence so far is showing that your risk of having significant COVID-19 or coronavirus infection becomes dramatically less. Thank you.